understand why it's winding him up. Yes. He would serve a volley. Superb. A special talent wins a special match here in Madrid. Carlos Alcaraz becomes the youngest player to defeat a world number one. Nice way to finish the opening set for Rafael Nadal. Oh, wow. A few weeks ago. Yeah, just stood his ground. Quite unbelievable, this okay, sport at times. But just keeping right, Goffin. to win the point a few times there, David Goffin. Yeah, just way too short with that return. Yeah, that's a great angle. Wow, an almost deafening silence inside Manolo Santana. Was there and that 
is just tension. Rafael Nadal never fails to amaze. What an extraordinary match. A match in which he had to save four match points. <laughs> A little glance from Alcaraz. The crowd are not going to like it. Ah, spicy. Is this it then? Are we going to see it in full? <laughs> Love it. And Sitsi Pass turned his back straight away. Great reaction. Zero cards. Quinze, quarante, fifteen, forty. Shot off the line. And he held his nerve under real pressure.
unbelievable finish. And the last Frenchman standing in Lyon is still standing. Manuel Guinard into the quarterfinals. Think about being two points away from victory after over three hours. His frustration at a succession of line calls that did not go his way. A tired and, as I say, slightly frayed end to proceedings here. Unfortunately, he is up on his feet quickly. Alcaraz, and yeah, has just given Nadal the thumbs up. He might just have to wash himself down here. Alcaraz. It's a worry there, isn't it, that the ankle has just rolled. Ahora mismo mandamos a alguien. Gracias. Here we now might have a, a medical emergency here in the crowd. I think uh, they've just called for a doctor to treat someone here. I think these kind of stoppages are always the hardest for the players because they've got no idea how long they could potentially be stopped for. Jerry Armstrong to make that decision right now. Carlos. Yeah, the tournament are asking them to, to wait. Of course, our thoughts go out to the spectator there. We hope he or she is OK. Alcaraz under pressure finding his very best tennis. Alcaraz. Keeps himself in touch, or does he? Djokovic wants this checked. Quicker. Novak, I told you, this between first and second, be a little bit quicker. He's almost here. Yeah, no, I know, but he's a quicker. Novak, I told you in the pre-match meeting to be... I so was three, four meters yes, behind the baseline, how can I do quicker? You just say challenge, you have... What challenge? I'm going to see the mark. No, but it's, it's clay. This, yeah, no, it's clay, but still, between first and second, you have to be quicker, uh, Novak. Yeah. Um, yes, I told you in the pre-match meeting. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Novak Djokovic begins his campaign with a win, or does he? He does. Confirmed from Mohamed Layani. In the end, he overcomes Gael Monfils. Admit it. Admit it. You made a mistake, right? And he's still demanding perfection of everyone around him. Well, Sonigo is convinced this is missed. Yeah, I know, but it was so... Okay, that's the birthday thing, you see? 
but it was so good. Right here. That... I didn't have it as that one. I, I understand. I understand it was a kick serve. That's the mark I had. I didn't think it was that short. Dennis, but Dennis, Dennis, listen, because you crossed the net, you're going to get another code violation. That's right. a point penalty. Because you can't cross the oh, net. Wait. Come on, I was just showing you. No, I know, but you have to stay on this side. I was just showing you the line. I know, I know what you were doing. I, doing I know, but unfortunately. Wait, the I can call. I can call the. I was just showing you the mark. No, I know, uh, Dennis. I know. I know exactly what you were doing. I'm not doing anything that's sportsmanlike. How can you give me a point penalty for that? That's just the rule. No, it's not. It's stupid. That's so unfair. the net to check a mark. This results in a code violation. We're yet to up, uh, update the score, by the way. Just to clear up exactly what happened there, the initial dispute was about the line yeah, call. That meant it was a double fault. Then he was break point Sorry down. Go. Then he crossed Leans. the net. Then he got the point well, penalty. So his lost serve is the outcome. And Sonigo is serving at 5-3 here. Some battle, some atmosphere. And he did really well to get things back on track after a... After a volatile end to the second set, there's an apology to the chair umpire. I don't think he's going to get too much love off this Italian crowd. It's a slight hobble there. Definitely a detectable hobble from... Holger Oon, still troubled by the injury. Now it's just a matter of having a bit of clarity of thoughts for the Dane. Goes for the underarm serve, and he's really struggling. Can't push off at all. Yeah, now he's looking at his camp as if to say, what do I do here? Oh, this is rough. It's really seized up on him, hasn't it? Don't know if it's cramp or an actual strain. When he rolled the serve in, he was just trying to buy time. The thing is, it's... It's so difficult when you're the opponent because you're just not sure what's coming next. Just wow. Hit an ace. Oh, this is amazing. This will be incredible. Unbelievably. Yeah, Up match point. Oh, the big cramp is about to take a hold. It comes and goes in waves, unfortunately, when you're at this stage. Oh, my goodness. That is unbelievable. How has Holger Oon been able to close this match out. I'm not sure even he knows. It's the end of the road for Manuel Guinard.
yeah. Anglis mind. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the kind of results. to the game. Oh, is it wide? What a dig from the defending champion. Oh, no way. No way has he made that. Incredible tennis from the defending champion. It's a victory to save for Stefano Sitsipas, the defending champion. Somehow he's scrambled into the semi finals. Where do we start in summarizing that one? Up a set and 5 2. Back came Schwartzman. Four love down in the decider. Oh, well played. Such guts. Oh, how fortunate is that? Now, what's Tiffa saying here? He's not happy. Did it strike? Yeah, I'd like to see this again. Mr. TFO is charging the call on the right near sideline. The ball was called in. I'm a little surprised. Fox 10 cannot show the ball because it landed on the machine. There is also no ball mark for me to check. The ball was called in. Point to corner. The comeback trail. A little bit tentative. Passive again, isn't he? He's allowed TFO to set up to dictate. Oh, brilliant. There it is. TFO 
is on a roll here. We are indeed going all the way. It's all over. Finally, Tierfo, what a comeback. What a performance and what drama. And you have to feel sorry for Sebastian Corder.